polyethylene glycol 2000. I know, it sounds like a bad guy in the next Terminator movie, but it's just a lipid, which is a fancy word for fats and oils. That avocado toast you just inhaled? Mm. Mm. Loaded with lipids and cilantro. How about tromethamine hydrochloride and monobasic potassium phosphate? One is an acid, the other is salt. Kind of like the salt and lime you had that tequila with last weekend. Remember? What's my point? Most vaccine ingredients are all around us, already in us, in the food we eat and the products we use every day. But when they're combined correctly in a vaccine, they provoke an immune response to protect your body when it encounters the real virus in the real world. Allergic reactions are extremely rare, and you'd probably already know about them from the vaccines you had as a kid. Because if you went to school or traveled anywhere, you've had plenty of vaccines anyway. So what's one more? The vaccines are even vegan. You can't say that about the hot dog you always get from that dude on the corner. I would tell you to look up those ingredients, but I'm not sure you want to know. The vaccine ingredients are safe. You can look them up yourself. The only missing ingredient is you.